Hello Internet, welcome to Section 8 Freestyle. I know I'm not a familiar face for you guys, uh, so allow me to introduce myself very quickly. Um, I'm Peter from Peter's Home Projects. Uh, the link will be up here for my website. I like to build stuff, so if you're interested in that, click on that one. But now I'm here with Section 8 Freestyle. Why? What the hell do I know about drones? Well, very easy. Um, I used to fly drones a little more than a year ago, but I completely stopped with that hobby because of I don't got enough time. If you want to see something of me, the video that you can see right here right now is me flying. So if you want to see something, go back in the channel and you will see some videos of me. So why am I here right now? Well, Argo asked me to do a review with him. So he's moving, he's on the way right now and well, he told me nothing, just that it's something very spectacular. So I'm really curious. So let's roll the intro and see what he got. Hey, there we go. Hey, Peter. Hi, guys. So, what you brought? I got this. I see a box of Cadex, a very light box. Cadex. Open up and see what's in. Okay, let's see what's inside. It feels empty though. Ooh. Okay, guys, I see a black ribbon cable and a PCB or PDB board. No, PCB. PCB. And a camera. That's, that's strange for a camera. It has two lenses. Why does it have two lenses? It's a revolution in FPV. Besides getting a big box cam onto your drone, now we got a camera that's inside the drone, as you had like uh, the the run cam. Run cam. I was thinking of the run cam yeah. too. But this one has one lens to fly FPV and one separate lens to make screens in 4K. Okay, to make video in 4K, nice. That's different than the run cam, that's one, one big ass lens with the step down converter or something like that. Yeah. And this has two lenses. Nice. So it shoots 4K you said? Yeah. It's in the latest camera, the normal ones had uh, 1080. Yeah, full HD. Yes. This one brings out 4K. 4K, nice. It looks pretty solid and decent. I like the black cable. It feels better than the one that I had on my uh, on my run cam. But I'm not sure. But I think this piece here is pretty high. No. No, well, I think latest uh, drones do have the room to to build in. The, the uh, other components are getting smaller too, so I think this one will fit in perfectly as with the rest. Might be a little bit difficult, but once it's installed, you got 4K, guys. Cool. So, 4K, FPV camera. Yep. The first of its kind. Yeah, then nobody did the same. The, later, the, the only ones are in full HD. And uh, Cadex brought this one out. That's something I don't understand because Runcam was a long time the best FPV camera with full HD. Why didn't they upgrade it yet to 4K? I know they built the last one smaller, but uh, Cadex was the latest, the last one in the FPV, and I think they're doing a great job hmm. with the latest sensors and, and stuff. Well, honest, I never heard of Cadex before, but what's a year in drones? So, um, there's a little antenna on the back, I see. What's this? That antenna will, is for your uh, 4K camera. It will link with, uh, with Wi-Fi, with an mm. app on your, on your phone. I know in the, the run cam you had to plug something in the side. For Wi-Fi, so this is built-in. This is built-in. Nice. Completely. The one PDB is only for the 4K camera. Mm -hmm. I will actually let you access it into Wi-Fi. 
the FPV will still use the OSD and joystick to, oh, yeah. to change yeah. the, the settings. Oh, that was horrible with the joystick. Try to plug it in, and yeah. then, oh, <laughs> I still remember that. Um, okay, let's see what's else. What else is in the box? Oh, the joystick. I just said I hated this thing. Yeah, small joystick with a cable and a replacement black ribbon cable. And normally there are some cables to connect it, but I think you already I already fixed it. Up took them it. out. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. We got a Cadex Torsche here with a 4K camera. What's the price rate on this thing? Now uh, pre-order they are at uh, 89 dollars at the moment, yeah. 89? 89. So now you have to... How much was the run cam? Uh, I think... Uh, I think the same price? Same price. So you got 4K for the same price. Yeah. That's, that's nice. And besides buying a big ass box cam, mm -hmm. you can pay between yeah. one, 100. Normally you put something like this on your drone, so. Yeah. Uh, That's 100 dollars and 100 grams. Yeah. And now it's. You always you are always looking for them. That's the reason why they make them orange, so you could find them back. Yeah. When you lost them, if you lost this one, you probably lost your complete room. Yeah. So. Okay, 4K camera. The similar setup as the split, so you can build it into your drone. Yep. It's very cheap in my opinion. So let's let's check the specs. Okay, this is it. 4K Wi-Fi, like you already told me, because there's a little antenna on the back. Yep. Dual audio. USB connection, so you got a USB connection. Yeah, right below the micro SD slot, you have a micro USB port. Mm -hmm. Then settings app, there's an app, so you can adjust everything. Yeah, they brought uh, an app on Android. Sorry, guys, for the Apple, I don't use Apple, so, and we're not gonna test this one, but the app is available in the smart store. Smart store. <laughs> in the store. <laughs> Anti shake, that's probably some image stabilization. Yeah. Uh, ND filter. Yeah, that's... you can buy extra lenses to put over the original lenses too. Oh, yeah, I can see. Four star production, three star production, yeah. non ND. Okay. What else? That's the rest of them. It goes up to 12 volt. I think that's not as good as the run cam. Run cam you can use directly 4S. Yep, you can go high voltage. This one only goes to 12 volts. So, so you need a step down regulator or yeah, a PDB. Just don't uh, connect them to directly to your uh, 4 cells. Just stay at 3 cells or 5 volts from your... Or you get a nice fire and the money's gone. Yeah. Uh, TF card, yeah, of course, with an SD card. Battery to 4.2. What else is here? 4K lens, heatsink. Well, that is this is the app. Okay, now we're getting some interesting specs. The dimensions of the camera are 19 by 20 millimeters, so that's only the front end, 19 by 20, and the DVR, so the PD, the PCB in the back, is 29 by 20 my but. Oh, 29 by 29 millimeters, but the holes are 20 by 20, so you can actually mount this in a very, very small frame. Okay. This one, is this 20 by 20? Yeah, that has a 20 by 20 holes. Mm -hmm. Dual lens, f2.8, that's the diaphragma, and 12 mega, I don't know what they mean with that. I guess it's 12 megapixels. If you know, just let us know in the comments. Dual digital mic, so that's for the audio, yeah, yeah. dual core, dual core, dual system. For the processor, it's a Sony sensor. Ah, now it's getting interesting. 4K, 30 FPS. 30 FPS, ain't that a little bit too slow when you're flying at high speed? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Hmm. I think but it will be better when you go and do a, a cine drone. Yes. Nice, nice yeah. features. It does have a 2.7K at 60 FPS, but then you got a 4 by 3 ratio. Yeah. So that's... Not very interesting when you want to use it on a big screen. 
um, at oh that's nice at full HD you get 90 frames a second and you can choose between 90 60 and 30 frames a second so that means that means you can really slow down your video if you're making some awesome move and better quality is a little bit lower at 720 pixels you get 120 frames a second I do not think that the run cam split is somewhere near those numbers. No. No. Camera bitrate, that's nothing important in my opinion. You can choose between NTSC or PAL. Ooh, that's nice. You can adjust the ISO. Uh, so that depends how dark it is. If you work with camera systems, you don't need any explanation. If it's too dark, you push up the ISO image. Um, it goes up to 1600. It isn't very big, but that's okay for a small camera like this. Hardware anti-shake. Yeah. Stabilization Image stabilization, but yeah. I really want to see that in such a small camera because that's something very interesting. Scene mode, auto, you can adjust everything. Video encode H264 or H265, which is necessary for 4K. You can rotate the image. FPV, it's a 1200 TVL lens. 1200. Ain't that causing too much delay? No, it's a low latency camera. Okay, and back in my day, 600 was maximum that I used. So No, the, the newer ones are higher TVLs and low mm -hmm. latency. Okay. TV, NTSC, Paul already said that. The image, you can change it to between 69 and 4.3 ratio. Super VDR like all cameras, uh, separate OSD, it supports, it can be supported by the flight control, so you can adjust your settings with your controller, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's a new, new yeah. way to do it. Smart audio or something? No, smart audio is uh, for VTX, uh, you can, it's a similar way, mm -hmm. by using the flight control OSD to control your camera okay. settings. Yeah. Input 5 to 12 volt, which I think is a downer because yeah. you can directly take a four cell battery and SD card U3 level that's the most important specs that we well yeah that's the end of the page well it's nice what's next we're gonna hook it up mm -hmm. and let the guys see how we can adjust the OSD and how the app works nice let's get to it for entering the menu, you press the button at the center. EA is brightness, exposure mode, and the advanced shutter control and gain control. WB white balance, you can change the modes. Day and night, X EXT or auto. Image enhancing, contrast, sharpness, color gain, 3D and R. The video settings, the video standard PAL or NTSC, HD formats, video ratio 6 to 9 or 4 to 3, horizontal inversion, vertical inversion if you want to cable it down or up, DWDR, language but there are too many to look at, the reset button if you want to go back to factory stockings, the safe exits and the exits. Last but not least, we also have the app that we're going to use to change settings into the 4K camera. This is your view. It's nice, pretty nice. Now you can change settings too. Here to the top left, you got your radar. You go into your menu. First, you can change resolution from 4K to 2.7 and so on until 720. You can change loop time if you want audio on or off. Video encodes between the H.264 and H.265. Your meter mode, AWB, the exposure, the ISO value, LDC, IIS, that's your anti jello and your bit rate. On the top you got your device settings. 
that you get in start action loop time uh, normal modes video modes loop car loop time-lapse video and so on you got your Wi-Fi that can change your your passwords your video standards NTSC or PAL your inversion modes if you want your cables to be up or down uh, if you want the date into your screen your auto sync time every time if you uh, link to Wi-Fi it will change the time and then your factory settings and SD format if you want to erase everything is on and the information off the firmware is on and you go back to the screen the nice thing is that you can start recording from your phone but do remember Wi-Fi will take a lot of your battery further you can look at the videos or the video clips and the images you made normal video, timeless video you can change by pressing, pressing right below the small and for photos okay guys that's it I think this looks good yeah I think we have uh, covered everything if there is something that you didn't see or you think it's not there and you compare it comparing to other cameras just let us know and we will get closer and we will look investigate what's wrong so um, what's next now we're gonna look how to hook it up this is the PCP in close-up you got your solar pads 4.2 volts ground 3 to 12 volts you're not a ground your video signal, OSD menu, a ground, RX and TX to connect to flight controller. Between that you got a small connector that will provide you your voltage, a ground, a video and OSD connector. On one side you got the two push buttons, your Wi-Fi antenna, your micro SD card slot and a USB port. An SD card protector is added into the box. For you got your 20x20 20 20 mounting holes. There are no screws available for connection. You have to find yourself a way. For you got the FPV antenna. I would turn it inside and seal the connector just in case it takes off and crash. You got the push buttons. The first one is to auto record and the other is to turn on the Wi-Fi. Well guys, that concludes our review on the Cadex Tiger. If there are more questions, just send them in the comments below and we'll try to get back to you. Is it Tiger or Tarsier? Tarsier. Tarsier. I can't pronounce it. Tarsier. 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 Anyways, so, also if you like this setup that we're using right now, um, reviewing this camera with two guys instead of just one, pe one guy talking, let us know in the comments, that way we know we are going to do this more and more often instead of the other way. If you don't like it at all, please let us know, that way we can adjust our setup a little. Also, do not forget to check out my channel if you're interested in that. And especially, do not forget to subscribe to this channel and push the thumbs up button. That's it guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.